guys, welcome back to Clever Style. It's time for Trend Talk. It's a clever edition with Dana oh, Ward. Oh, goodness. I know. <laughs> from Clever TV hey, and Miriam Issa from Clever TV. Hola. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> that was such a big laugh. I know. It was really big. I just got called out. But we're talking of fashion. You guys know the gig with Trend Talk. So let's just jump right in. First look. This is for you, Miriam. I know it is. With Jennifer Lopez. I won't take it like it's racism. Oh, it's Jennifer Lopez. I was Miriam. actually wondering but you why. Love her. I know. I do oh, love her. That's I thought it was nuts. like. I thought it was a Latin connection. No, oh. it's because you love her. I know you love but her. But it is a Latin connection. It is. She's mine. She's this all yours. She's all mine. I own her, ah. and I love her. Okay. Obviously, as you said earlier, she looks like a mad little child. In this yeah. Don't call me out! <laughs> <laughs> no, she does. She looks really angry, like pretty, but like angry. But So I have to ignore yeah. her face. Yeah, ignore her face. She had other photos. She had her daughter and Casper there, so oh, she wasn't angry. Mm -hmm. She's kind of caught in between the poses. Got here. it. That happens I, but sometimes. I was talking more about the dress, too. Like, I feel like the proportions, I think they could be a little bit better. I agree. I think it's a beautiful look, mm -hmm. but I just feel like the proportions are off. Because strangely. it's almost like a baby doll dress, but she's a woman in her 40s, so it's kind of weird that mm -hmm. there isn't a torso. Like no. It just kind of squishes her. The waist literally starts right under her boobs. Yeah. And the heels like look really short. They They're are short. beautiful heels, but I would expect high heels with a little... Maybe she was trying to dress like her daughter. Fit in, yeah. What is it called? A fit and flare. flare? Yeah. Ooh. I think the reason that I talked about this is that she did these baby kitten heels is because the dress is so short, the cut is so low, that if she would have worn like sky high heels, she would have looked a little scandalous. Mm. Maybe a little... Which is why the can. proportion should have been more on. Okay. It's fine. <laughs> but if the proportion had been more on scale, then it probably would have been a little bit longer. Yes. And then she could have worn yes. the sky high heels. Yeah, I yes. agree. All I agree. Right. I feel like another thing about this dress, which I, I love the dress in and of itself, but the, sh the shoulders make it her look very broad. Do you guys see that? I, I do see that now see that, that you say it. You don't see that? I'm sorry. Is it okay that I disagreed with you on yeah, camera? Yeah. No, you can totally I see disagree. It. I think it, it makes her look kind of like... Do you need some glasses, girl? <laughs> Look at the broad. I just wish it came in a little bit further, but I'm a big fan of like the racer back and the halter cut. That's mm -hmm. just preference for me. So. I I love white lace. I always think it looks really elegant and mm -hmm. it always makes your skin pop. Yeah. Um, so I actually really love the dress, but I agree with both of you. They just kind of stretched this area and made it a little more fitted for an adult curvy woman like herself. Then it probably would have been my favorite dress. Oh. And I'm still on a mission to know like who takes care of her skin because Gosh, she glows. She always looks beautiful. I mean, it's almost as if she looks better now than she did 20 years ago. And that does not happen. Go J-Lo. She I know. uses some cream that I think it comes from the moon or something. I heard it was like, it uses like moon dust and it's a million dollars an ounce. Might be exaggerating, but it's some cream. Virgin America, <laughs> take, take me, to, me the to the moon. <laughs> All right. It's probably Another. actually Virgin Universe, but. It, and like Galactica. Yeah, um, Galactica. <laughs> Alright, we're not going to the moon, but we're moving on <laughs> to Kim Kardashian. She was in Miami. They're filming the whole thing, so the whole clan is in Miami. Mm. She's rocking this blue number, and I'm going to not be negative and let you guys go first. <laughs> <laughs> well, Miriam said she's in Miami. Let's go there, Miami. I am from Miami. There we go. <laughs> is this for you, too? You guys are so racist. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. No, we're not. All right. No, I have a bone to pick about the pictures you're choosing. I know. Because their faces suck. I know, but just ignore it. Just ignore it. She's ignore like, the oh, I'm Kanye, is that you? I know, she looks Are a you little cheating frightened. on me? She looks like she just got Kanye cheating. No. <gasps> okay, fine. It's about the dress. Rumors. <laughs> um, I think that Kim has put on a little weight, and being the Cuban from Miami that I am, I'm okay with that. Yeah. I like curves. So I, I'm totally not hating on her new body. I think that she is now dressing for her new body, so she can't wear clothing as tight as she used to. Mm -hmm. But don't you kind of feel like the skirt portion has swallowed her up? Yes, mm -hmm. I feel like, okay, I'll go with my negativity here. <laughs> I love Kim Kardashian. I love her body. I love the way she dresses to it. She, but this is too much fabric. This makes her, yes. she, even if she has put on weight, who cares? So she's enjoying some nice meals with her boyfriend. Let her do it. But like sounds fun. this, <laughs> I know it sounds fantastic, but like, dude, show me some of your body here because I'm not seeing any of it. Right. And it just looks like a big 
mm -hmm. from. And, and she's not that. She's not, she's very normal. Like, she's gorgeous. She's beyond normal. She has curves like any girl would want. Right. Mm -hmm. Show me a little bit more of them. Yes. Don't hide them. Yes. I love the color. I mean, yes. if I'm going for one thing on this look, mm -hmm. it's the color. I think yes. it's gorgeous. It's perfect for being in Miami. It's Beachy. a little, yeah, it's a perfect color. Um, it really pops on her skin and with her hair color and everything. And yeah, I like the color. I do you too. like the cutouts? I do. I always yeah, love that. Cool. Me too. All right, moving on. Nina Dobrev, ignore the face again. These photos are heinous. <laughs> Apparently, I can't get it right. Um, I love this look. Nina kills it. I think she always kills it. She, I, I don't think we've brought her on Trend Talk with an outfit that I didn't like. Right. This you is know, very preppy and very cute. Yes. F aren't florals in? Yes. Are florals Let's just always Brianna. in or what? I feel like they're That's always true. trendy. It's like a staple feminine yeah. thing. I think they change with like different kind of florals and what you wear with florals, but they're always pretty much around. Mm -hmm. I don't love florals, but I do I like I know. I, I don't always like florals either. I don't like Interesting them. Interesting you say that. Because, yeah. and I know mm. that you're like this, you like a little more edge. Yeah. Like you like femininity that isn't just one dimensional. And I feel that when you do the floral thing, it's kind of like, oh, you're being a girly girl. Yeah. It's nice when you add a little spice to it. Speaking of spice, does she have any? <laughs> does she have any? You know what? There's this is point. the kind of outfit that a year ago I would not have been able to appreciate. Um, and I get it now. Mm -hmm. But where is she wearing this outfit? She's at the Grove. She's outside promoting Vampire Diaries. Really fun, oh, snappy show. You know okay. what? I think she could have gone younger and a little more spicy. Not to say that I don't like the outfit. Yeah. It's almost very Jackie O. It's very classic. Um, I just feel that she could have been a little edgier. edgier. Yeah, I can see that. I think she looks prim and proper. I think she's going for a certain theme with her yeah. fashion. And this one is just a more lady, lady-esque type yeah. of look. I was going to say Lady Gaga, which it but totally not is it. not. Totally wrong. Lady Gaga on my mind. Wrong one, wrong just one. lady but you're look. Right. Prim and proper. Prim yeah. and proper. And I she's pulling it off great. And I love her hair. Always. The waves are like perfect. They're not too overdone. They're yes. not too undone. Perfect. Why are you looking at me yeah. when you say that? What are you trying to say about my hair? I like your waves. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Just kidding. We're going back to the family. We're going with a little Kylie Jenner. I know you guys, Clever Style fans, big lovers of Kylie Jenner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They love her. Well, and I love her too. I'm this, right there with you. This is the look I went straight to when we were kind of going through. I think it's fun. It's young. I love the use of pattern. I love it. Yes. Like you can't always pull off every pattern. This mm -hmm. is a cool freaking pattern. It's like a mix between a floral, but it's funkified up with yes. a little bit of paisley in there. It's a, little a little darker baroque. color. Yes. yes, a baroque. Ooh, I love that. And I love there. the use of the headband. It's another way to like keep it youthful mm -hmm. and fresh and fun. You know what? I was really, I can't lie, I'm being super, this is like confectional, confession. <laughs> This That's is so like sweet. confessional trend talk for me. <laughs> sweet. Um, I was over these headbands. I was like done over it too Coachella y for me. She brings it back a little bit high fashion for me. Yeah. Here, and I like high it again. Fashion. And the do. colors, you know? it looks very fallish yes. too. She brings I, it back. Not like hair. hippie. It's you know more what? Yes. It's more fall and put together. And gorgeous. Yeah. I think Indian princess. Yeah. Aww. But I I really like it. I love that she did that with her hair. And to me, she could have been wearing any outfit and that accessory is what made it so memorable. Yes. Like I feel like if like if tomorrow were to ask you girls, hey, which look did you like? This is the only one you'd even remember because there was something so outside the box mm -hmm. about the look. Totally. Um, the shoes I think are such a strange combination with this dress. I love it. I was gonna say, is there something gonna have go down right here? No, but this is actually positive. I really like that she combined these shoes because yeah. I, I don't know, she could have gone something more conventional and I love that the shoes are just kind of like whatever I don't know. can you finish my thought for me yeah I can totally it's Thank like you. this like <laughs> Let's just go down it's, Let's do it. it's like you get paid masculine like chunky Oxford heel that she's yes. paired with like a very high fashion dress yes. and mm -hmm. it's like so yes. unexpected but it just really works that's exactly it but I, I like it because like, it's layers i feel like with these sorts of shoes though whatever they technically are called yeah heeled <laughs> oxfords you have to be yeah. really careful because a lot of them look like grandma shoes last year yes. a lot of people were rocking shoes that i was just like those are grandma shoes they were yeah. trendy and Aww. in but now you I ruined get it for past me my grandma mimi now i can't probably get... wearing those back in the day one last look on Trend Talk, which makes me really sad because it's been a fun one. 
been really honest today. We need to do this. This is fun. This trio. I was going to say another word and I didn't. We should do this trio more often. I yes, agree. we should. Yay. Team. Go. All right. Okay. Kristen Cavallari <laughs> just became a mother. I mean, not just, but like getting married, rocking this kind of edgy dress. I love it. I, do I love it. I think it's a great way to, to wear leather because not everyone can pull off leather pants. Not everyone can. Sorry. Yeah. This anyone Everyone. can do. Mm -hmm. Just have a little bit of leather on anything that you're normally rocking. I okay, love it. I have an issue. That's what? why no one's going to remember this dress because it's the kind of like one size fits all design that anyone can pull off. It's just the little black dress. I'm loving the shoes. They're barely there. They're super naked and it makes her legs look longer. Mm -hmm. um, so I love the shoes and you know, she's a pretty girl, but the dress, yeah, it's pretty, but it's a little too classic for me. Like I said, it's not the kind of thing that's gonna push, what is it, envelopes, boxes? Push. push the envelope. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not even going to push plural envelopes. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody going to push nope. it. Uh, Miriam, I'm yes. going to hit you. Yeah, I no. really like this dress. <laughs> I, no, but she likes it. You like it? She, I it just like doesn't it. push okay. the envelopes. <laughs> it doesn't push the envelopes, okay? Okay, but here's my thing. I think that fashion is such a hard, it's a hard ball game for a lot of people. First of all, you know, People like, you want to be able to wear what celebrities wear, but you when they're wearing stuff like J-Lo's mini frock, I mean, you can't do it. So when you get something that is like a good hemline, a good cut, mm -hmm. a little bit edgy on trend that a lot of women can wear, I think that it just is like so refreshing because you don't see that a lot on mm -hmm. celebrities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What? Thank you. Go. Okay, so imagine if we were to take the same dress and now add I'm about to get a little 305 in Miami on you, all right? Just go with it. Okay, add a big gold ring or like a really big yeah, gold bracelet. Totally. And like hair up so that it shows the neck and it shows the the cut of her face, the cut, the ankles, angles of her face. And just imagine like maybe um, bolder gold earrings. I can see now, that. Now it's, it's a dress that pops. Mm -hmm. I yeah. think it's under accessorized. But also I think we have to think about where she is. She, it looks like she's at an Ulta, Sponsored oh, breast cancer research foundation event. So I would wear lots of accessories to a breast cancer foundation. She's probably thinking I want to be a little bit more serious. I'm yeah. a little bit more classic. I don't believe in serious or classic. That is why style is to, to each his own. To each That's his right. own. That's why fashion is so exciting. And, and I like the smoky us. eye have very yeah. different styles. Oh yes, I do too. I like the smoky eye. <laughs> went everywhere. Uh, All right, pick your favorite look. Ladies. Bam! Who are you going with? Oh. I'm going with Kylie. So, Dana, you are Kylie. I'm Nina Dobrev and Miriam is. I'm picking a few. I'm picking her head and her chest because I like the cutouts and her shoes and her, her legs. You That's, don't get to actually you, take these yes. things home with you, Miriam. You have to pick one. I don't have to. I live in a world of options. All right, her world of options. So you guys have options. If you could make an outfit out of any of these, let us know in the comments how you do it. And we'll see you next time. I feel like we're at graduation. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> guys, what to wear? Confused? Should you wear the shirt? Should you wear the dress? Who knows? For all the answers, make sure you subscribe to Clever Style. Click the button. You won't regret it.